Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your reading. When I was shuffling out this card for you, or the spread for you, um, I saw an imagery of a stork. And the stork has, um, it, it's white, and it's in a landscape that is very, very barren. And I can't really make out, you know, trees, mountains, rivers, I can't make out anything. It's just in a barren landscape. It's looking around trying to find uh, other members of its clan, of its tribe. It's looking around trying to find like, you know, where's um, where's like the nearest tree? Where's the nearest meadow? Where's the next place that I can go to to find other people, to find other storks or to find, you know, like a food source? Um, right above his head is this infinity symbol. And that to me indicates somebody who is very enlightened. Okay, so I don't know if there has been some news information that came into the picture that has elevated your vibration. Where you are at a place where you're feeling very, very enlightened and you're trying to figure out what's the next step. Okay, and the, the, the white background just indicates to me that everything is pretty much a blank canvas. You can make it into anything that your heart desires and you can make it into any shape or form like you you basically have a clean slate a brand new page in which you can write your history and um what i'm getting with the spread along with that imagery the infinity symbol things coming full circle things coming back around realizing uh, what we need to do in order to elevate ourselves, elevate our status, elevate our financial situation, elevate our ability to expand either mentally, physically, or even geographically. Um, I'm also feeling as well, there's this really big sense that the, the spread is very family institution oriented, okay? And institution is more, um, work and also um, educational and and let me just put this message out there for many of you it took a lot to get you where you are right now okay so if you can look back all the trials and the tribulations that you've had to go through and um, all the things that you've had to do the odd jobs that you had to do all the 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 the, the I, I feel like you know it's it's almost like you're that white sheep in your family you're like that shining beacon that others look up to and family members and you know even extended family members they look at you and they're like oh the capricorn person has made it they're 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 successful they're um they're very disciplined and they got themselves up here to this point out of their sheer sense of hard work and determination and you know work ethics so Everybody around you, they see you as this shiny beacon. They see you as this role model. They see you as this person that everyone wants to uh, aspire to be, okay? And for some of you, you could be in a, a family situation, okay? Let's just say um, your siblings might not have had the uh, opportunity to have the educational attainment that you have. They might not even hold jobs that are very that are, you know, uh, I, I want to say like, quote unquote, revered or looked, looked highly, it, it's like highly regarded by society. So whatever that means, okay, I'm not making a judgment call. This is just what I feel. It's almost like siblings do not have the jobs that you have, okay? And and I feel like they look at you and they, they admire you. They're in sheer admiration of you. Family members, even mom or dad, they admire you. And I, I see this huge elevation in status, in, in your financial situation, in your status, in your social standing, where you have made a mark for yourself. You have created a name for yourself. You have carved out a title for yourself. And you have deviated from the norm in order to do this. So I, I mentioned you know years back, and this energy is flooding back again. Um, you've had to go through some, you know, major transformations in your life, taking jobs that you didn't want to do. And you had to because it was, you know, just your survival instincts. And you did it gracefully. You never frowned upon, oh, this job is, is beneath me or below me or below my station or I'm too good for this job. 
you've never taken that that attitude so whatever was thrown at you you made the best of it and because of that you have gotten here because you understand humility you understand that we do what we got to do if it's like a bump in the road and if it's a temporary setback and i have to take this job that i believe to be beneath me even though you never will say it but you feel like you've had to take you know some jobs that you didn't like or didn't enjoy and we've all had to but i feel like the 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 way that you looked at the situation was not from a, a victim standpoint you know like oh this is beneath me or why am i stuck doing this job you took it as a challenge and you're just like you know what this is a learning experience so i'm going to conquer that job okay i'm going to make the best of it i'm going to learn from it i'm going to grab the experience that i can extract from it and put it on my resume so that i can advance and do a better job so i can advance into a different pay scale so i can advance into a um a job that other people might you know um I guess like a, a more highly regarded job so because of the sense of humility what I feel here is um, you've done it you've been there and now you've made it and I do feel a lot of people look at you in awe and in admiration and you know they're only seeing the end result they didn't see the struggle that it took you to get there and you would never um, talk about the struggles you don't talk about the internal struggles you don't they only see the end result of your success of your status of your financial standing and they're just like well if the capricorn can do it then i can do it too what they fail to realize is that capricorn has this sheer determination once you set your mind on a course of action you don't deviate okay you don't deviate and uh, failure for you is not really an option. There has been setbacks that were imposed upon you by external actors in the past, but you blasted through these obstacles. And what people fail to realize is that it took a lot of hard work for you to get where you are right now. And you do it with a lot of dignity and grace and this sense of humility. So then for others looking in, everything is very effortless. But from your standpoint, looking out, everything was very difficult, but I did it. And so moving along with this reading, this is a new year. And you know, that stork in a, with the white background, it's a clean slate for you to start over. It's a clean slate for you to start manifesting and creating the future that you want. I feel there are some obstacles to you getting the type of money that you want. And the, the simple truth is, I feel like it's a career ladder, okay? So if you look at somebody literally climbing a ladder, it's like they're, 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 the ladder is straight up, it's vertical, and they're at the bottom trying to you know climb a vertical ladder. It doesn't have any handrails or anything, they're just climbing up. And if a few of those rungs in the ladders are missing, then it's going to be a very perilous climb. It's going to be dangerous. It's going to be very, very hard without those rungs in the ladder. And for many of you, this can come out in a work environment where you're capable, you're totally able to do the work, and you're due for some type of vertical you know, advancement. But the work environment that you're in, they care about the education, they care about the degree, they care about the diploma, they care about uh, what have you contributed? Did you publish a paper? Did you um, graduate? What school did you graduate from? Um, is it a really, you know, uh, highly publicized school? So they care about these things that shouldn't be important, but it is important because the environment is very structured, it's very rigid, and it, it, it values, you know, different things. So yes, you have that halo on you, or I'm sorry, the, the infinity symbol. And you've had a myriad uh, of like a, a, just a barrage of life experiences. And you've been places, you've accumulated a lot of practical knowledge, a lot of practical experience. And you are that go-to person, that infinity symbol over your head, meaning 
um, knowledge is limitless. Okay, your ability to retain information, to learn new things, to be able to fix everybody's problems, to be able to kind of uh, work in any environment. All of those things are really valuable and they're practical, you know, things. But this work environment, for whatever reason, they don't care about the practical things. They care about that flimsy diploma. They care about, you know, did you get published? They care about, you know, uh, where did you go to school? Does that school have a good reputation? And I feel like those are the missing things on that ladder. Those are the things that are missing, the missing rungs on that ladder. Okay. So what I have here is the eight of pentacles and we're trying to get to the 10. Okay. The 10 of pentacles is like the completion stage. It's sort of like that apex, that, that, that being at the top of the mountain when it comes to your financial, uh, standing. And what we have here is the eight of pentacles and it's sort of like, what's next? What do I do next? And it's sort of like that stork walking around. Where are my people? Where are my tribe? Well, it doesn't really matter at this point where your people are and where your tribe is. It really matters that you start to figure out what you want to do independent of other people. Okay, so this is a decision that needs to be made individually rather than as a collective. And, um, you know, just going back to your essence, you are the sign of that goat and goats are mountain climbers and uh, they do have a, a full bird's eye view and they're quite solitary. You know, they can hang out in groups, but they're quite solitary because they, they climb these crevices, these rocks, and they're always able to land on their feet. And I feel, I, I feel almost like a lot of the times these decisions that you make they have to come from that space where you have the bird's eye view and you can see the totality of a situation whereas other people honestly might steer you the wrong way so you want to look at this and you really want to you know try to figure out like um you're safe you're okay on your own you don't need to find other people. You just need to figure out and focus on what it is internally you need to do on your own. Okay. So what I'm also seeing as well is um, I see for many of you foregoing certain foods. Okay. So I don't know if um, you're recovering from some type of um, flu illness. I feel like your vitality level is a little bit low. You're forgoing food, forgoing water. So I don't know if some of you are fasting or some of you don't have your appetite. Some of you are declining food. Some of you are just like in, um, it, it's almost like your palate has changed and um, you're taking on, it, it's like your palate has changed and you're, whatever you used to like, you're, you have an aversion to it now. So there's definitely dietary changes. There's definitely foregoing food. There's definitely changes when it comes to, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to, that you're putting in your body. And I'm also feeling as well. Let's talk a little bit about the family situation. Um, I have here the Hierophant and um, the, the, the imagery with the family there is as well a sense of am i worthy and am i deserving um so i feel some of you are in a situation right um and i feel like it's work related and it's also uh, relationship related as well work related relationship oriented um where you're just like i'm comfortable here i'm comfortable here and uh, never in a million years would I thought that, you know, somebody this, so if, let's say if you're in a relationship, never would I in a million years thought this person would be into me. But now I'm in this relationship with this person and I really like this person and um, I'm comfortable here. And then I see the same, the same messages resonating across the, the work situation. I've struggled really hard and I'm where I am right now. Uh, the work is not exactly, you know, too difficult. It's not, um, it's not labor intensive. It's not, you know, crazy. People trust me. People see me as the go-to person. 
I fix other people's problems and I'm, I'm, I'm you know, well regarded by all my co colleagues and co-workers and I'm comfortable here. So there's a, a, a thing here about, you know, taking a little bit of a break because you're comfortable where you're at. You're comfortable. It, it's a point of comfort, which can be really, really good. You know, it's like finally being able to kick back and just enjoy things. However, I feel like there are opportunities that are coming in for you very, very fast, very soon. And I feel this opportunity um, around the April timeframe where you're going to have to jump on it very quickly. So despite feeling comfortable, you're going to be nudged to step out of this comfort zone and jump into a new opportunity. And I feel the April timeframe is highly indicated and um, you're going to start to hear about it. And you have to kind of like shake yourself, you know, like, oh my gosh, um, I'm, I'm never going to get that job. You know, I don't have the, the degree. I don't have the diploma. Um, I'm comfortable where I am right now, so I'm not really sure if I want to move. Um, for those in that comfortable relationship, there's going to be some shakeups, not in a bad way. There's going to be some shakeup in the relationship and you're going to have to roll with the punches and you need to kind of, um, step out of that comfort zone a little bit okay and the scenario that came up when i was um as i was looking at this is travel movement okay new job opportunities possibly taking you to a different geographical location than your love partner okay and then you're just like no i i, I want the relationship so i'm just gonna stay put so that could be one scenario and then, you know, a job that's outside of your comfort zone or a job that is outside of your field of expertise um, or a job that is outside of your geographical location, you turn it down because you're comfortable where you're at. So there is a lot to be said here about continuing to climb. There's a lot to be said here about continuing on that solitary journey. It doesn't have to be solitary, but these decisions need to be made and kind of like in a bigger way when you're looking at the long-term trajectory when it comes to your career, when it comes to your relationship, when it comes to the things that you have to do for yourself, independent of other people. Okay, independent of other people. So you know when we see the stork, the imagery of the stork, uh, we see it in cartoons where it's um, it, it brings a baby on its beak, right? Like that's like the classic Disney uh, imagery of the stork. And I feel like that's what's happening here too. It's, uh, it's the beginning of something. It's the birth of something. And I also feel, you know, very strong pregnancy vibes too for those who are expecting or for those who are... Um, trying to get pregnant so i feel like you know the 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 april time frame i feel like there's something being unlocked where those rungs in the ladders are being filled in or there's some type of a completion where you're going to be able to fill in those rungs in the ladder so that you can keep climbing okay um that's what i'm feeling here and um there's there's another message and in this cluster let me just take a moment so you know how the beginning of the uh the month i mentioned and for those of you who you know watch who are like regular watchers or viewers i mentioned uh, a very idealistic starry-eyed woman right i see that imagery coming back in as well somebody who is not um and 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 this is applicable for you guys um i feel like for female capricorn viewers and especially even if you're dealing with um, another woman this is somebody you who you know okay and like i i feel like if i say you know someone who's very starry-eyed and very idealistic you know exactly who i'm referring to so i see either you or somebody who's quite significant. This is somebody that turns away from temptation. This is somebody that is um, so on track with their moral compass that 
they don't deviate from their plans. So some of you could be in a relationship with somebody like this and um, they're so moralistic and they're so like, um, they're so ambitious and they're just so, they're just so on, on in tune with the path that they are creating for themselves. They don't deviate from their plans. And I feel like if you're in a relationship with this person, you bring each other a lot of warmth and a lot of comfort. It feels like, you know, this childlike innocence, us against the world. If I have you, I don't need anything else. It's somebody that you trust 100%, you trust completely. And I feel almost like <clears throat> the relationship, you know, has its challenges. Challenges of the will, willpower. We have here the chariot. And this is like, you know, it's not so much the ego conflict because, you know, that infinity symbol indicates to me a higher elevation, a higher, a higher st state of being where the two of you don't have these petty mind games, but it's a lot more about career, big picture situations, like big picture ideals about what is the ideal career for me? What is the ultimate career track? What is it that I am doing? So I feel like you might be walking around performing a role, performing a function in your job. But when it comes to, you know, the, the idealism, what am I hoping to achieve? What is my ultimate end goal? What is my vision? The, the, the long term vision isn't really there. So it's really hard in this white landscape to try to figure out where am I supposed to go. If you're only planning for like, you know, where's the next job, where's the next city, then you're only seeing, you know, that five mile radius. If you're thinking about long term, what is my vision? Ultimately, what do I want to do? That's vision. That's going to allow you to see the landscape. That's going to allow you to see the trees, the mountains, and the rivers, and where you are supposed to or destined to be. So I feel there's a lot of things here that indicates to me this um, lacking in that overall vision when it comes to looking at your life. And I, I, I feel like I think I know where this is coming from. Um, I feel like some of you have been in situations like this, Eight of Swords, it's a little bit uncomfortable, where you don't trust your intuition, okay? It's, it's kind of like being stuck. You have so many ideas and you don't know how to execute. You have so many plans and for whatever reason, they conflict with each other. Um, <clears throat> they conflict with each other or they depend it on other people or they were in, in, in like opposition with each other. So for example, I want to move away for that job, but I don't want to leave my lover behind. I want to move far away from home to go to school at this really good university, but I don't want to be far away from my parents. Um, I want to go back to school, but I have, you know, mother, um, like parenting responsibilities that I can't renege on. So there are definitely things here that are blocking your progress and they have blocked your progress in the past. And you're kind of fearful about dreaming big because you don't want to deal with that disappointment. You're fearful about how logistically, how is this going to happen for me when I have all of these other things that I have to take into account. And it seems like, and it seems like, you know, where you're at right now, things are okay. Things are, are, are safe. They're stable and you can continue to exist in this safe, stable environment for a few more years. You don't see that there's anything wrong with it, but I feel like the universe wants a lot more for you and, um, you're kind of missing that kind of like that bridge to get yourself here to this next phase and i feel for some of you it could be purely education and then for a, don't abandon it don't abandon it so if you have been um dealing with you know how am i going to pay the bills how am i going to pay tuition 
or I don't know if, if I'm, I'm still passionate about this anymore. I don't know if this is the right uh, major for me. I don't know if I want to go to that university really far away from home. You're going to be fine. You're going to be protected and you're going to be able to, you know, get that diploma. But I feel like it's safe here. Whereas this is a, a whole other world and you're not ready yet to make that leap but you're going to need to. So there are major changes coming in for you guys in the month of April. I would say in the time of Taurus, we have the Hierophant. Um, April 21st to May 21st, opportunities for promotions too. And I don't feel like it's falling on your lap. You kind of have to go out of your way to get it. And I feel like the universe is prepping you to kind of step out of the comfort zone a little bit and grab that next phase, okay? There's also a need here to be a little bit more strategic when it comes to your overall career goals. It's not just, you know, one step at a time climbing that ladder. It's more about thinking, you know, that that vision. It's not just a job, it's a career. It has to have vision and its vision needs to align with your vision in order for you to be in the right place at the right time. Whenever our job lines up with our vision, we get promoted really fast because we're in the right place. Because energetically, we are in sync with that work environment. You And sometimes, it might have already happened for you guys, and then now there's a little bit of a lull. Like, where do I go next? Find that next vision and align yourself with the job or the career that is in alignment with your new vision and then you will be able to advance very, very quickly. So I feel this is what is coming into the picture, and this is what January is all about for you guys. Readjustment, redefining, rehashing that vision that you have for yourself. So you have somebody that's bringing this vision for you, and I mentioned that idealistic woman, the person that wants to change the world, that wants to make the world a better place, a person with such a strong moral compass that they cannot be tempted with material goods. They cannot be tempted with, um, you know, to, to do the wrong things because their heart and their minds are so in alignment with morality and, you know, uh, wanting to do the right things that they will not kind of put their life on hold for other people. And I feel like this is a person that is coming into the picture to inspire you to take that next step and to really follow that vision, okay? What I have here is the Justice card, and I'm drawn to this mirror. This is just not just thinking about, and, and it's Leonardo da Vinci in the mirror. This is the Leonardo da Vinci deck. But what I feel is, it's not just about here and now and what's coming up in the next five months this is about you know what do we want to do like 30 years from now 50 years from now when we're old will we still be happy where we're at when we're older will we still be will we still be content or will we kick ourselves over all of these missed opportunities that we are afraid to take or things that we say we're going to do, but life, you know, circumstances or whatever reason, we put them on the back burner and never initiate these things. So you've got some things that you need to um, really get going with, okay? And I mentioned it's crunch time in the previous video, and I feel like it's happening right now too. Um, you've, you've got some really good things, mainly because I feel like it's a clean page, okay? your future is a blank page so that means you can make it really really good you can you know continue to drudge on or you can sit and relax and things will still be fine but once again 30 50 years from now will you still be um, happy or will you be kind of regretful about these opportunities that you didn't take so i'm going to leave it at that capricorn i hope that it's helpful for you and um, I will be back next month, okay? I will talk to you guys then and have a very, very happy birthday. Take care.